Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at the DNA results, so predicted appearance, traits and GD match results of a chimpanzee. Now, this chimpanzee died in 2004 and his genotype, he was genotyped in 2005, a year after his death from his remains. It's a very interesting chimpanzee because this is the first chimpanzee that took a DNA test. Now, chimpanzee DNA is slightly different from human DNA. Uh, for example, humans, we have 23 chromosome pairs, but they got 24. So, as you can see, the second chromosome pair in humans is kind of like a merge of the second and the third chromosome pair in chimpanzees. When it comes to this video specifically, and the file I'm using here, every single nucleotide polymorphism, which is long for SNP in this file, is accurate to cleanse genotype. However, the file is in 23andMe format. The location of the variants do not represent reality, only the genotype. Meaning, the genotypes are true, but the locations of the variants are not. I had to do this this way to make this file compatible with GDmatch and other ancestry services. This quirk does not make the results invalid, because location of the variants does not play a part in ethnicity estimates, only the genotype. This is what he's predicted to look like with my Nashakot, HRS Plex, and Snipper Free. With my Nashakot, he's predicted to have dark brown eyes at 84%, uh, snub nose at 70%, and black hair at 99.8%. What's interesting, he was not heterozygous for any of the uh, variations that my Nashakot looks for. Uh, what's interesting is also he had two variants that have to do with light, uh, light pigmentation, light hair, skin, eyes uh, in Tirp 1. Very interesting result. I was not expecting this. Uh, with Snipper Free, he's predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, and black skin, uh, which is why I depicted him looking very black here. By the way, we actually do have photos of this chimpanzee, so we don't you, you don't really need the picture here. You already know what he looks like. He also, just like the previous Neanderthal individual I made a video on, has this very exotic genotype in uh, DRD2, A1, A1. Uh, this genotype lowers the amount of D2 dopamine receptors, and I'm thinking this might be something that everybody besides Homo sapiens has. Uh, in the other, in the Pro 19 Pro variant of DRD2, he did not have the no-go learner mutation. Obviously, duh, because he's a chimpanzee, not even a human. According to his genotype in Compt, he was a warrior with the IO, uh, which means less dopamine in the system, which means quicker dopamine reuptake, therefore less dopamine in the system, less motivation, attention, however, advantages in stress resiliency, for example. Uh, now, he did not have derived EDAR, and EDAR is a homo sapien gene that has to do with a mongoloid or East Asian phenotype, so he did not have East Asian phenotype, and he did not have derived OXTR, which is very interesting. This is the closest we got to the sociopath gene, in humans at least, and um, chimpanzees are the most, hands down, the most sociopathic species of apes. So it's very interesting that he did not have the sociopath gene that's correlated to sociopathy in humans. And uh, of course he did not have the European lactose persistence mutation. This is a European lactose persistence mutation. It's a mutation in Homo sapiens that humans have. Obviously he's a chimp, he doesn't have it. And he has a very high risk score for Parkinson's disease, very interesting. Um, he also had a very high risk score for coronary heart disease, and he actually did die of heart attack, of a heart disease, so that's maybe why. And he had a high genetic risk score for type 2 diabetes, and he had a high genetic risk score for schizophrenia, and finally he had a very high genetic risk score for bipolar disorders. This is what he scores with MDLP K23B on GD match. It's interesting that he's scoring 91% archaic human, and uh, I wonder what this archaic human is meant to represent here, but uh, he's scoring 91% of that, and maybe he's most similar to archaic humans. He's more similar to archaic humans than any other population here. And this is what he scores with MDLP Ancient Roots K10. Now, uh, this calculator is actually not on GED Match, it's on Admixture Studio, but here he's scoring 99% archaic men. Once again, what is archaic men? Uh, is it meant to represent some kind of antecessor or Neanderthal? I don't know, but whatever this is meant to represent is most similar to this chimpanzee. And uh, this is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. He's mostly scoring Sub-Saharan here. Now, I could explain why that is, but I feel like I might get in trouble for doing that here on YouTube. And with Eurogenes K36, he's scoring mostly Pygmy. Uh, once again, this is similar to like Neanderthals and other ancient individuals that I've looked at. Neanderthals are scoring mostly Pygmy as well. This is what he scores with Ephio Helix K10, and this result is actually very different from Neanderthal, because if you remember, the Neanderthal scored mostly Hoi San, uh, but this individual is scoring mostly Mbuti Pygmy, so this individual is most similar to Pygmies uh, rather than San people. And this is what he scores with Harappa World. Uh, what's interesting about this result is here he's mostly San, 
and Pygmy. There's a little bit of West African here, but it's mostly Sun and Pygmy. But he's actually scoring a little bit of Northeast European, so maybe it's not just uh, the Sub-Saharan Africans who have similarities to chimpanzees and uh, you know Neanderthals and whatever. I guess uh, there's some similarity between this chimpanzee and Northeast Europeans too. So, did you like the video? Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And by the way, you can download this chimpanzee 23 and Me file in 23 and Me format from link, which is in the description. Uh, also, as things stand right now, my channel is the only place on YouTube where you can not only see the DNA results of all kinds of living beings, but also download their DNA in 23 and Me format. You gotta sub just for that.